Police and security guards in Belgium were caught flat-footed today by a cowardly sneak attack on one of the world's wealthiest men. The target was Microsoft Chairman Bill Gates arriving for a meeting with community leaders. Watch what happens when a team of hitmen meet him first with a pie in the face. <laughs> Gates was momentarily and understandably shaken, but he was not injured. The hit squad piled on with two more pies before one of them was wrestled to the ground and arrested the others for at least the moment and got away. Gates went inside, wiped his face clean, and made no comment. He then went ahead with his scheduled meeting. No word on the motive for this attack. That poor innocent pie. He'll forever be remembered as a hero. Despite his concerns about the pandemic, I've yet to see him wear a mask. No matter how hard I try, I can't find it. But that's neither here nor there. People tend to think that Bill Gates is a genius, responsible for creating operating systems that we use to this day. But that's not the case. Bill Gates was born into extreme wealth. His mom, Maxwell Gates, helped him secure the position at IBM that he used to springboard his career. But his father, Bill Gates, was an established attorney worth millions. So the story of a young, brash, intelligent computer genius working his way up from nothing to become one of the richest men in the world, that's fabricated. Here's the truth. Gary Kildall was a computer scientist responsible for creating the CPM operating system. That very operating system Bill Gates wanted for IBM. When Gary refused Bill Gates' offer, he found another company that made a bootleg version of Gary's operating system. He then brought the bootleg company operating system, bypassing copyright law, and using that system to make the Windows operating system. This toxic capitalist behavior is seen to this day. Bill Gates gives donations to multiple media companies to make his image look squeaky clean. Bill Gates has greatly exacerbated the overpopulation problem in third world countries by making them reliant on American food donations, and Western medicine. So if we ever stopped giving them foreign aid, they would never be able to support their ballooning population. And they also have forgotten the old ways of hunting, foraging, and herbalism. But could this be a precursor to what they want to do to the West, but in a more extreme fashion? Time will only tell. Bill Gates plans to blot out the sun using specially engineered aircrafts to release sulfates into the atmosphere. Some people will call these chemtrails, but we can't say that on YouTube. I'm not saying that. Sulfates are extremely harmful to the environment, a natural irritant to skin, and is insane to just release into an environment you're trying to protect. 